and welcome to Children's Worship. I am Ruth Ann Luckenball. I am the Children's Ministry Coordinator. I'm Kara Subing, the Director of Family Ministries. And we're so glad to have you back here again with us. We know it's hard to not gather in person, but this is a special way that we can still keep some of our traditions and some of the things we've always done here alive. And so when we gather together, we remember that we have the green for the growing time. It's um, common time in the church. And so it's green, but we're, we're growing. We also have our candles to remind us that uh, Jesus is the light of the world. We have our offering plate so that we can collect our offering for, um, for as you guys have done for Hacker Project. If you want to send in your offerings with your parents, let them know and say, I've got offerings for children's worship. Well, we would love to have that. And we also have today a reminder of your uh, kids' compassion chart. And so um, if you have been working on it, great. If you haven't been, there's still time, fill it out. You can do 10 of these things in no time at all. Because there's things like making those um, kindness uh, rocks that we did before. And cleaning up your toys without being asked, you could do that every single day, I bet. And your mom would be really happy. So um, these are some of the things you can do. And uh, Ms. Kara's gonna talk about today about being kind to yourself and, uh, and, and forgiveness. All right, so today we're gonna do a little bit of an object lesson. I don't recommend that you do this at home without your parents' permission, um, and I definitely would recommend that you make sure that you have um, washable markers if you're going to experiment with this. Uh, but like I said, watch me do it and hopefully learn something from that. Um, this is not to encourage you uh, to do this at home. Um, so we know a lot of great things come from the Bible, and uh, this is some scripture that comes from 1 John, um, and it says, if we say that we, do, that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So that has some big words in it, and that just means we mess up, right? Sometimes we do things that we're not supposed to do, sometimes we do things that hurt other people, uh, whether we, we mean to do it or not. Um, and uh, I know I feel bad when that happens, uh, but if I were to say, no, 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 I'm perfect, I'm great, um, I've never done anything wrong in my life, you guys would know that's a lie. So that's all that that's saying. Um, it goes on to say, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. A lot of more big words. Um, but what that means is when we mess up, when we feel bad, when we know we've hurt someone and we're really sorry, um, that we have the opportunity to go to God, to say, God, look, I messed up um, and I'm really sorry. And you know what? God will forgive us every single time. And uh, Mr. Fan talked about us being kind to ourselves. And the thing is, sometimes we know that we've been forgiven by God, but we're still kind of tough on ourselves, right? Like sometimes we forget so I want you guys to know that, uh, that when you ask God for forgiveness, it's he totally forgives you, and that gives you uh, the knowledge, the ability to be able to forgive yourself too, hopefully. I know a lot of times when I mess up, other people forgive me faster than I forgive myself. Um, and so that's just a little, little piece of kindness you need to be able to do for yourself. So um, our little object lesson is like this. Like I said, I mess up. Sometimes I say mean things. So I'm going to write mean words. Sometimes I say mean words. Sometimes I hurt people. Sometimes I hurt my family. I'll put that on there. Sometimes. Sometimes it's mean words, but I know growing up, sometimes I would also physically hurt my family, right? Maybe uh, get into a, a fight with my brother um, or my sister. Um, some other things that maybe, um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, think mean thoughts. goes all over think mean thoughts so um if I were to continue this I could probably write up my whole arm all the things that I mess up and these are things that I feel like um, I do not just like once or twice but I, I do repeatedly um, and so I know I need to go to God every day and ask God to uh, to forgive me 
say, God, I'm sorry, I know I messed up. I, I said some mean things to my, um, to, to people who I really care about. I said some mean things to people who I don't care about. Um, I said, I thought some mean things about people that I don't even know. Um, and I did things that I know hurt my family. Um, and God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And you know what? God will always forgive us. And it's just like if I took this and took a little bit of water and some soap and took a second to just wash that all clean. It's like it's gone. But even that really inky, dark um, black that was on there, it's gone. And that's what it's like when we ask God for forgiveness. He says, okay, I forgive you. And I think that's just an incredible thing about God and about our faith. I missed, I missed a spot with some soap here. Um, I think that's just an incredible thing about our faith, our God, um, the people in our lives who love us. You know the people that are going to forgive you over and over again, your family, your friends. Um, know that God even forgives you and loves you more than that. Uh, so hopefully you can also love yourself and forgive yourself when you mess up. Um, so like I said, I don't recommend doing this at home. But hopefully you like that example. Uh, sometimes it's fun to watch grown-ups draw on themselves. Uh, very grateful that we picked all uh, washable markers. We've got a lot of permanent markers around here. Um, and uh, and just, just, be, just remember uh, that God loves you. God forgives you. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter how dark those marks are on you. God forgives you completely and loves you so much. Let's go to God in prayer. God, thank you so much for reminding us how much you really love us and forgive us. Um, we know we mess up every day and we're sorry. Um, and we thank you that when we say we're sorry, you completely forgive us. Um, you wash all that clean and give us an opportunity uh, to do new things and to make new choices. God, thank you so much for loving us so much and remind us also to be kind to ourselves, uh, to love ourselves the way that you love us, and to be able to forgive ourselves when we mess up. We love you, God. Amen.